Hello, my name is Heiko. I'm a developer at Corpus Ventures, and I'll present you now DM3. What is DM3? DM3 is a, um, a simple protocol for messaging. It's decentralized, it's open, and it's secure. To achieve this, we built, um, built uh, DM3 on established um, Web3 protocols like ENS. The properties I just mentioned make it censorship resistant. We designed it so that there's no single point of failure. And um, with DM3, users are in control of their data. Everyone can write an own implementation of DM3. The basis for DM3 is a record registry where users can store their profiles. Um, we used uh, ENS text records for that. And um, on the middle layer, we have the delivery service delivery services um, buffer the messages until they are delivered to the uh, messaging app. And on top you can see the messaging app. Uh, since the registry is the core of the protocol, I'll now explain a little bit deeper um, how it works. As you can see, um, we have the public encryption key in the text record for the profile and also the uh, signing key, public signing key, and uh, also important is the delivery service uh, name. So there must be at least one uh, name of a delivery service. Okay, um, the delivery service text record also contains uh, public keys, and it also and it contains a URL. This URL is pointing to the delivery service instant where messages can be sent to. It's also possible um, to store data off-chain or on layer two uh, by using CCIP. This allows the creation of DM3 profiles without um, high transaction fees or if it's completely off-chain, you don't have any. And it also makes it possible to include um, external public key databases. S um, this slide shows how um, a message would be delivered from Alice to Bob. So at first, um, Alice uh, types a message into the app. Then the app will retrieve uh, the DM3 profile of Bob, which contains um, the delivery service name um, he is using. In the next step, um, the app will retrieve the delivery service uh, text record where there is the URL um, of Bob's delivery service. Then uh, the message is signed and encrypted and sent to Bob's delivery service. The delivery service will push the message um, to the app. The app will be decrypted. And the app will um, look for the profile of Alice. And uh, that's needed um, because um, the signature needs to be checked. And if it's, uh, the signature is fine, um, the Bob can then read message. Besides the protocol definition, we also have a reference implementation. Um, the reference implementation consists of um, four different packages. We have the DM3 web app. As you can see a screenshot here on the left side. Um, it's also um, online available on the app.dm3.chat. Besides the web app, we have the React uh, package. This can be used um, to include a widget of DM3 into other apps. And then we have the backend package. Um, this contains the delivery service. And finally, we have the DM3 lib, um, which contains basic protocol services. So um, we are working also on protocol extensions, uh, which take care of things like um, group messaging. These extensions are optional. Um, if you want to write a DM3 implementation, you only need to follow the uh, DM3 message transfer protocol. So that's our roadmap. Um, until now, we uh, published uh, the protocol draft and the reference implementation. A critical goal of DM3 uh, 
is to enable interoperability between uh, currently isolated Web3 messengers. We are now talking um, with many of those uh, messenger teams uh, to understand their needs. Um, and yeah, please let us know if you want to join uh, the discussion. After we uh, finish that process, we'll publish the specification and adapt the um, reference implement implementation. Yeah, um, if you want to uh, include um, DBDM3 into your app, let us know, um, we'll try to support you. That's it, thank you.